on music as we take you to a wood. <laughs> Red Riding Hood lived in a house by the forest with her mama and papa. Papa spent the days in the forest cutting wood with his axe. would sometimes cook delicious cakes for her family to eat. One day, Maman asked Little Red Riding Hood to take some cakes to her nana, who lived on the other side of the forest. said Little Red Riding Hood. So she and her mama put the cakes into a basket while her papa continued to cut wood outside. Little Red Riding Hood said goodbye, turned into the forest, and disappeared from view as Maman waved her off. Sometimes this forest can look quite scary, thought Maman, looking out at the trees. I'm very glad that the Big Bad Wolf only exists in storybooks. But the Big Bad Wolf did exist. Hidden from view, he'd been listening to every word and was now licking his lips hungrily. He was every bit as big and every bit as bad as everyone ever said he was. Rustling leaves seemed to hold a dark secret. 
Every now and then, she even thought she saw shadows moving on the path ahead of her. Red Riding Hood had caught sight of something in the darkness ahead of her. A tall, shadowy figure dressed in a cloak stood in the path, softly singing a mysterious melody. The face of the shadowy figure was hidden beneath the hood of the cloak. I know I mustn't speak to strangers, thought Little Red Riding Hood as she got nearer. I'll be polite, then say a firm goodbye. At last, Little Red Riding Hood came out of the other side of the forest and walked up to the front door of Nana's house. She knocked once, then twice. Still no reply. So Little Red Riding Hood pushed open the door and stepped inside Nana's dark house. <laughs> Slowly, nervously, she began to climb the stairs.
this room. Nana was sitting up in bed, or so it seemed, but the curtains were drawn and it was hard to be sure of anything in the dark. Come closer, my dear, said a strange voice. So Little Red Riding Hood stepped towards the bed. noticed two nasty tufts of hair poking out from under Nana's night hat. Oh, Nana, said Little Red Riding Hood, what big ears you have. Hood approached the bed, Nana started to sing the same song the stranger had been singing in the forest. Little Red Riding Hood joined in. She knew it pleased Nana when she sang along with her. to see you with, my dear, said the strange voice. Please come closer. so sweetly, but as Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the bedside, Nana's grin became something terrible. Out 
of Nana's bed. Red Riding Hood ran for her life. and all was well. Hugging her family tightly, Red Riding Hood felt safe once more. <laughs> <laughs> 